Hey folks, welcome back to Let's Play Breath of Fire 3 on the Mysterious JG. I'm flashing back now to the Breath of Fire 2 uh, music in that, like, Thieves' Tomb deserty palace place, the... It's like sort of Lawrence of Arabia thing going. Pretty cool. Uh, because we just crossed the desert, or at least we hit some kind of plot landmark in the desert. So, let's see. As Momo said last time, it should be around here, shouldn't it? Oh man, why did I switch party members now? We could have gotten awesome dialogue from Nina. Yeah, these are probably the two people who would have the best dialogue anyway. Ray's just gonna say, if they're doing Peter! Nina usually has pretty generic dialogue. Momo occasionally says something funny. And uh, Gar is like the guy who's driving the actual plot as opposed to the avatar. Maybe we can see something if we climb that hill. Maybe that hill's going to turn out to be like an antlion or something. I don't know what the hell antlions actually are, but they pop up in JRPGs a lot. Yep. I just switched party members, so I no longer have the guy who can steal in my party. Like, I just did that. I'll have to check a fact and see if it was a bad idea. It would be really good to steal from this guy. Do, 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 do. Explain enemies' data. Oh, it's Momo's turn. I was wondering why what the hell all this. Oh, Momo can steal. Never mind. Do 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 do. do. So Avatar's got the best skills, really. Because he can do the uh, raise all targets defense, which we probably want. I have a feeling this guy's going to be um, physical attacks and not magic, but we don't really know. Car's got like no freaking skills because I've had him had him learning from a master A who already taught everything he knew to Avatar and, and just basically it's a physical attacks master anyway. So does Oh, I guess he is going to use magic attacks. He just increased his own magic. Ooh, Gar is doing some damage. Wait, why did he... Oh, that's right. That weapon causes him damage every turn. I need to think about getting rid of that, actually. Magic defense up? Or did I use the wrong spell? Yeah, it's just increasing magic defense a or magic a lot, I think. Or maybe focus is strength. Yeah, I should have checked to see what focus is, because he looks like a physical attack kind of guy. And uh, I can't remember now if focus is magic or strength. I think it's strength. I think this magic defense might be a complete waste of time here. Nice! I don't know that she'll be able to intimidate him. <laughs> well, she doesn't have the, the spells we're interested in anyway. She's speed on herself yet. Does he have focus? Yes, he does, and it raises power. So never mind, I was wasting turns by increasing magic defense. But, I mean, it's not going to do any great harm, so we, sh we should be fine. Sudden blow, critical, focus. The 
this point, I, I need to give uh, Momo a chance to steal. Ouch! The hell was that? Are we? Con oh, Avatar's confused. Well, let's see what we can do about that. Luckily, it's only the Avatar who's confused, so we should be okay. But it appeared to be a chance that an uh, attack that had a chance of doing status stuff on everybody, and he was the only one who was hit. The hell was that? Feign swing. That's not a great. Oh, I love his little pose there. Snaps the fingers, his little finger guns, and that uses an item. It's not often we see Gar doing uh, items. I usually don't waste a turn on that for him. You know, uh, if we're going to steal anything, we better get going on it. Although, cast a mine on the avatar wouldn't be a bad use of a turn either. I don't know if this guy's got anything super essential to steal. I don't really feel like we're in a lot of danger in this boss fight. So we've got some pretty heavy hitters in the party here. If we really wanted her to steal, I'd probably just need to, at this point, back off. Play around with the gambit spell. I grab power food! Pow, pow, power food, pow, pow, power food. Alright, now there's no point in stalling. I can just have them attack as fast as they can. And it missed. And it took damage. Um... It's just for funsies I can try to intimidate it. Actually, no. She should cast Might on herself and start attacking like everyone else. I'll just uh, finish this guy off as fast as we can now. Love his gums. Ouch, Avatar. Now, do you get a reprisal? No. There's a whole lot of reprising going on. <laughs> Momo does pretty good damage, actually. Sucks to be Momo right now. Glad she survived that. So yeah, this guy hits pretty hard. In theory, if we had attacks that decreased his attack, we should use them, but... He spent two turns using focus, so if I wasn't being stupid and forgetting what that did and thinking it raised his magic attack, I would have known. Yeah, be ready for some hard-hitting physical attacks. It's probably just as well we have Gar in this fight. Even if I'm starting to second-guess the value of using that spear. Sleeps, uh, stop magic use, confuse... Hmm. It lowers defense. I 
I guess I could try blind. It's probably not going to do anything. What does Kiri do again? Nah, no, forget that. Probably not worth actually. Oh, Quake? You got. Oh, that was his, his attack. His other thing was a reprisal. Probably not worth it having her attack him. Because, uh, his reprisals are just. You know. It's, it's, it's a needless risk to have her attack, it would appear. Oh. I thought she was gonna do. Medium wounds on Altar. Or. Never mind. So this isn't being quite as easy as I thought it would be at first. This is basically just to keep her alive long enough for the avatar to do something. In, in case uh, it attacked first with another Quake spell or something. And just don't confuse Momo. Alright, you confused everyone but Momo. And then Momo fucking died. Avatar regains sanity. I was gonna ask them not to kill Momo on account of Momo's the one who can restore status. I forgot the Avatar can too, but... That kinda, that kinda sucked a bit. Chance of restoring a dead member restores dead member. Start running out of magic points here pretty soon. I don't know how much this thing can have left in the tank, though. We've hit and hit him pretty hard. Oh, there's like a goddess-esque figure. Although the goddess hasn't really been all that much of a friend to us throughout this game. So she needs to get back her defense. And uh, we're gonna hit the point pretty soon where we're out of magic points. I'm not careful. We really haven't been using items in this battle. I mean I think I think we'll be fine. Probably just as well we didn't jump on this guy like uh the plot suggested at one point we were going to. There we go. We defeated a powerful enemy. We got 2,000 experience. I thought for a moment about making Momo use Monopolize. That would have been a mistake because she almost leveled without even doing that. So it would have really wasted the experience. And we got some Zenny out of it. And then Gar suddenly confronts Momo <laughs> violently. So this has to be plot advancement, right? The heat must have been too much for her. Oh no. Oh, it's Nina. Who can blame her? She's just a frail little girl. Girls are frail, you know. It's one of our defining characteristics in these games. To a lesser extent in real life. Having to fight with that monster after walking for so many days. Hey, you fought with the monster. You did fine. You just didn't do anything. Switched her out of the party without realizing I didn't do it with this in mind, but no, I switched her out of the party just in time for her not to be part of it. I'm sorry, Avatar. Sure are. We're so close. Yeah, we are pretty close, Dina. We're, we've really become emotionally attached to each other. She's gonna die. I'm sorry. <laughs> they really did like like come off to discuss the bad news away from her. We won't be able to go any further with her in that condition. We'll have to carve her up and eat her here. What should we do, Avatar? Are you willing to continue the pilgrimage? Ooh, mm, oh, Poppin' Presta. I'm sorry, I don't want to slow you down like this. I don't want to slow you down. Rock on the other side of town. He looks worried. Aw. Is Nina okay? I'm not exactly in great shape myself either, but I'm not a wimpy little creature like her. We can't move Nina while she's in such bad condition. How bad is she, the princess? 
Right. And we were so close to... Well, let's hop on that weird camel-looking thing. I suppose we could just use the Rakta and start over. No! We had an hour-long video of getting here! I mean, we know the way by now, right, baby? It ain't her fault. Maybe we're just not supposed to make it. This game is kind of dark. You're not even allowed to win after all this. Okay. There's a diary, but now's not a good time for that. Uh-oh. You won't be able to move until you take care of Nina. What the hell am I supposed to do? Just give her water? I'm sorry, I don't want to slow you down like this. Give her power food? Okay, I just wasted water. And that wasn't what we were supposed to do, apparently. Wait, where's that Rakda thing? Oh, here it is. Rakdas. Strong, sturdy, and able to live in the desert. They can take anyone lost back to base camp. But Rakdas have another talent as well. They're really good at decoupage. Okay, we're not being given the option. So we're not being given the option of using the Rakdaws. I just need to keep talking to people until something frees out. It's like Final Fantasy X. Just keep talking to people until somebody says something. Nina, okay. I'm not exactly in great shape myself either, but... We can't move Nina while she's in such bad condition. Do you want to read it? No, it's not going to help us. I don't know what I'm supposed to be doing now. Hmm. Pooh. He looks worried. And putting our head in my lap doesn't seem to be helping. It's not a good time for the diary. Ain't her fault. Maybe we're just not supposed to make it. So rags, baby. Won't be able to move until you take care of Nina. Oh, now I'm trapped. I'm talking to the rack. I talked to the rack. I mean, I don't see what else there is for me to interact with here. Should I be using? Magic? I mean, it's not like I can go in and use, uh... I don't get to use healing magics on her. I'll just carve you up until you start working properly. The meat of Arachta has water and other nutrients. There we go. I, was, I didn't say anything out loud, but I was like, well, that is really the only thing I haven't done, is chopped stuff. It seems pretty harsh, but, you know, I guess Nina probably has a more important place in the Avatar's heart than, you know, a random camel. The meat of Arachta... It doesn't even get to ride in the desert. The meat of Arachta has water and other nutrients that can resuscitate a person suffering from heat stroke. But this means that we won't be able to fast travel back to base camp. You got the rack to meet. So that's the important part of that. We are now stuck here. Ha ah, ha We're stuck here! So you killed the rack to, huh? Nina's life means that much to you, eh? We won't be able to get back now. 
I'm impressed, Avatar. I didn't think you had it in you. I was planning to do it myself. Well, I f now Tipo would have killed that thing in a heartbeat, but I thought you were too much of a wuss. Well, hurry up and get that meat to the princess. Stop calling her the princess. I mean, technically she's a princess, but there's... I have to imagine he's condescending when he says, it. Don't worry, we'll make it. We're not going to die in a place like this. Not as long as you're around, at least. The meat of a uh, cat tribe member. <laughs> as I watched you kill the Rakta... For some reason, I thought of that time. We fought the new together. Oh, yeah, that was pretty messed up, wasn't it? Funny, huh? Yeah. With the sacrifice of the Rakdos' life, Avatar is able to save Nina. Yes, <laughs> being narrated by Ray, apparently. Oh, I thought the sentence was going to go on, but no. Life was the implied subject. Gotcha. Hey, that is the f this is the town that we've been seeing in the background. Helped by the blah blah blah. Yeah, never mind. <laughs> well, that was that what we saw in the background. So I should have just been beelining it for it. Maybe we wouldn't have had to kill the rack though. Unless this place has a transmission tower that can send us back to where we've been with instant transmission. I think we might be stuck here. Daddy, come quick! There's some people who need help. They're infidels! Jihad! Sorry. Sorry. Fa'ah, the friend of Ba'al. Be it calm. Your lady friend is caring for by my wife. I am the monarch of the sea. Please. Until you are being fully rested. We want you to stay and having our good hospitality. Hardy desert folk. Oh my god damn, I'm sick of that fucking robot, I tell ya. At least the word for inn is the same as ours. Hey, we can get up, because it's an inn, we can pay gold, because we can get the hit points back. Are you sure you should be up? Well, I'm a girl, otherwise I'd always have it up forever. Sorry. It's alright, I'm fine now. I'm sorry I worried everyone so much. I don't care, bitch. What is Avatar and everyone else doing? They're over there. <laughs> Being the woman I'm running this in, talking to the chief. Fa ah, about where we're headed. God, Allah. There is no God but God. I am regrettable, but I know not of this that you seek. Honorable fa uh, do you know of any ruins or something similar nearby? Ruins it is you are looking for. Then we are having... I am invincible to the north over the hill. There is being a place very old that we are calling Sir John. It is ruins of a very, very olden city. We should go check it out. Mm -hmm. A a race chatting up with local ladies. You've done so much for us. Allow me to thank you with my penis. Thank you for everything. It's all right. It's all right. The desert gives us so little. We are the monarchs of the sea. We share what we have with each other. Ah, oh, see, desert folk are best. Better than you scumbags from non-desert areas. Nina's up and awake. She says she's fine. Ah, so this is... Meaning you are leaving then, yes? Get out, get out! I am forced to offer you 71 hours of hospitality. <laughs> 72 hours. I cannot kill you before the 72 hours are up. What was Ahmed's name? 71 hours Ahmed or something like that? Or... Is the character from the Jingo, the Discworld? Never mind. Thank you so much. You bloody donkey. 
Thank you so much, you damn warg. I mean, for all you've done for us, but ah. Uh, bloody warg. It is being no bother. I am hoping that you find soon that which you are seeking. Please choose three party members. Oh, you don't have to use Avatar? Okay, you have to use Avatar. Well, we need to... Um, we probably should have Gar with us for the end game. I mean, he's the one who wants to meet the dang god. And as much as I like Nina, Momo is actually a lot more useful. <laughs> Well, maybe we'll give the girls a rest. We'll probably get another chance to change party members at some point. Oh, the Ray's actually now leveled ahead of Momo. All right, we'll we'll go with the party that uh that got us here. They did the last two percent of the desert and uh, fought the boss, as opposed to the guys who actually you know got us through the desert. But yeah, I would imagine we get a chance to switch party members again. No. Thank you for all your help. <laughs> May you be finding what for what you are looking. You know, we're making fun of him for not being able to speak uh, standard galactic or whatever, but uh, clearly he speaks our language better than any of our party members speak the desert people's language. And uh, that there's a point zero 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 one percent chance he'll see this. Shady Knights would ask, uh, you know. He, Wondering whether the Ronso have their own language, which would make sense, considering they go around doing noble savage speak all the time. Anything here? Something. Here's a pregnant lady. Who says nothing can live in the desert? Look at us, we're alive, aren't we? I'm having a baby, apparently, even though I'm just fat. No, the... I don't think there's anything that could kill my wife. I've been searching so long and so hard. Rack. Hey, I got two zenny, but I didn't get any free meat. <laughs> like, stop that. But, uh, you are free to take one of my rakdas with you when you head out. I mean, these are really generous people. I guess they don't get visitors often. It's probably a pretty big deal for them. Hey, it's a little uh, Harpo Marx Art Garfunkel kid. If you climb that hill, you can see the exact genre of the whatever. The ruins, there are nothing, there's nothing there anyway. Why don't you stay here and play with us? Well, we could do that, kid. Maybe after the game's over. Your cat friend really knows how to treat a lady. Do you need any water before going to the desert? Yes. You got all the water you can carry from the water jug. Yay! Because we get to go back if we want. I believe you would have to go back manually to return. I don't see any teleporting stuff around here. Once long ago, I went out in the desert on a trip. An ego trip. Let me tell you what happened when... I got lost, I got the wrong way. I left the oasis headed to a place called the factory. I'm making polybano chlorides in the factory. I walked about... No, no, he is going to give us directions. I walked south for about a night and got lost. Ended up heading west. After about four nights, I realized my mistake. Around that time, I lost something really important. Oh, he is giving us hints on how to find stuff. I'm not sure I'm going to bother with this, to tell you the truth. I'm pretty dang sick of the desert. When I was coming back here from the factory, I got turned around and went west when I should have gone east. I turned back. Yeah. So this is what I did. I went the wrong way because I followed the written directions, but he didn't, went back for about three nights. I bet the nice outfit I lost is buried under the sands by now. You got anything? Let me know, eh? I don't want to buy anything without equipping the, um... Wouldn't really want to buy anything without equipping uh, the coupons. Free scratch and sniff coupons. That's the desert out there. Sure you got everything you need? Well, I need to end the video is what I need to do, but, um... If you're tired, we got an empty room! 30 zenny at night. Well, we'll save. I don't think we need to rest. I think we got a free rest and our hit points back. And since we did steal from that monster and it was nothing terribly important, um, we can just save right over that slot. We'll take a look over the desert at Jir Khan and then uh, I guess I'll call it a video.
Next time I'll either search and frame skip or... Oh no! This is uh... This is a new section of map here. Oh, that was the wrong button. Oh, I got a text that just came in. It's time to end the video anyway. And yeah, so I'm going to end the video. Uh, when we come back, folks, I, I think we're really close to the end of the game. Uh, whether we're close to the end of the game or not, I am still the Mysterious JG. I want to thank you guys for watching this regular length video. When we come back, we will figure out what this is, probably. Or I'll go into the desert and look for uh, super hidden treasures. Bye-bye for now.